So, we are in session number three. Uh, first of all, um, there is something I forgot to write in session number one, which is here in this function, uh, in fun function connected, we get in all the socket data. And uh, I didn't write it, so uh, anyone follow the last um, video you can uh, fix that, but anyway, all the all the code will be in the GitHub repository anyway. Um, but let's move on. Um, in the last uh, session, we finish uh, when we establish connect connection between um, the server and the client. But we didn't really do anything with that. Uh, we just saw that we don't have any errors. So now let's actually send messages and see that we uh, get in um, the message going through. So to do that we going to go to the public directory and we're going to open the index.html and the sketch.js. Okay, so the first thing we're going to go to the index.html and uh, we will have to add a script tag um, that will help us use the socket I.O. So this link will be in the description below. Um, um, all we have to do is just copy this script tag and um, copy and paste it into our code and we're ready to go just save it and then we will go to the sketch.js so anyone who doesn't know p5 p5 is a really amazing library uh, with a lot of functionality uh, I will put a link uh, to the website uh, also in the description below um, basically the way it uh, working we have uh, a setup loop and a draw loop um, the setup is happening only once and the draw loop is happening forever and beside that it's just like any JavaScript uh, um, language with JavaScript uh, syntax um, let's dive in so the first thing we will um, define two variables. One, we will say message um, equal new um, array of three. Um, this will give us a lot of flexibility because we can just say 300, 3000, 3 millions, whatever we want, whatever number we would need in, in the future. But for now, we we'll start with free. Um, the next thing we will say socket, and we will define the socket in the setup loop. We'll say socket uh, equal um, I O dot connect and we will tell it to connect to a uh, local host 4000 so we will say http um, local host 4000 and now, uh, as in the server side, we have to deal with uh, getting a message. So we will say um, socket that on message. If you can, you can see the syntax is the same as server side and client side. And we will say um, got data and as before we just write this function um, uh, 
and for now all we want to do is just console log it to see that the data is coming through um, the last thing we have to do is um, we want to send a message uh, to the server also as we're receiving a message we want to send a message to the server um, so we will say socket that emit message and we will say we will start just send message zero we have an array of three we will just say um, let's say message uh, zero equal 20 uh, now we're doing this only to check things out that everything is working okay we will we're supposed to see this data uh, the data from the Arduino uh, in our web browser so let's stop this so we can refresh and we will write again node server.js and com is connected we're getting the data no errors here we will go to um, uh, localhost 4000 we will re refresh and we're supposed to get in the data but we get an error um, it's a uh, name not resolve name not resolve I think probably we made here some um, error HTTP um, yeah we this have to be before um, now actually we will have to do that again and refresh and we get in all the data um, as you see we have the data on the server side and we get it to the client side actually in the next session I want to go and look with you uh, in uh, ml5.js um, and we're going to look into the POSNET model uh, this is the first model that I want to work with uh, I think this will be the most simple app that we can do with um, with an Arduino uh, we will talk that about that in the next time um, and I will also show you a little bit about the P5 how it working um, some stuff you can do with that um, I hope you enjoy um, please subscribe like comment ask any question you want um, I will um, try to make these videos um, uh, interesting um, you can suggest also uh, ideas about um, ideas about uh, AI and Arduino whatever you have in mind I will um, gladly hear what you have to say uh, see you next